Hi Virgos, welcome back to the channel guys. Let's see what your person wants to talk about this week. For our conversation, we are using the Gilded Tarot Royale, Cosmic Tarot, and of course the Big Mama deck, both sides of it. And y'all know I've already pre-shuffled on this deck. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I pick up your energy there. She was coming forward for my Virgos. Virgos, whose energy is the strongest right now? What do they want to talk about? One more time, guys. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos person. Here we go. What are we talking about? This is for my Virgos. Ooh. Right here. Ow, we're going to talk about Virgo, Hermit Mode. Hermit Mode Virgo, yes. Ah, introspection. Somebody is um, withdrawn. That could be us or them. Three of Pentacles. This is about work, focusing in on work, but also getting recognition for what you're doing. What else? What else are we talking about? Mmm. Right here. Right here. Mmm. Competition. Chaos. Disorganization. Sometimes when a uh, five of one shows up, guys, you know, we lose our voice, our ability to be able to express our thoughts and our feelings clearly. And sometimes it's we don't express our thoughts or our feelings. We don't want to because we feel like nobody really gives a shit what we think or feel. Oh. We've definitely got somebody in uh, hermit mode. Introspection. Focusing in on work. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper. Let's get the cosmic terror going, guys. This is from a Virgo's person. Let's talk about this hermit mode. Mm -hmm. Talk about the introspection, following your own light, not being afraid to move forward, to venture forward, even if you got to do it by yourself. Got Eight of Pentacles, perfectionism, trying to perfect something. Mm -hmm. mm, again, that's having us focus in, it seems to be, on work, pentacle things like that. Independence and freedom, Nine of Pentacles. And they've got some heartache, heartache and sorrow. Tell us about the heartache and sorrow that has pushed us to want freedom and independence. Intuition. Sometimes our, our high priestess will, uh, she's the one that will tell us they're not divulging details and information to us. We've got the hair font. Faith. Faith. Loyalty. Taurus energy. Tell me about that. They don't want to talk about uh, the sorrow too much. They don't want to give us too much detail, but it has to do with faith, our faith, and uh, the support, the stability of the connection. What else? Uh, seven of Wands, Courage, Block and Protect. What are we blocking and protecting? Oh, four pentacles, reward, ace of pentacles, and empress. Hmm. Tell me about the empress. That's, our empress is a sit-down energy that uh, she not taking action. Her advice when you ask her, what should I do? She'll tell you, sit down and absorb what happens. Don't take any action. And we're in privacy mode, rest, recuperation, and healing. Is this your energy that they're telling me about? Is or is it their energy, Virgos? Hmm. Because right now they're not sure about uh, where things are headed. They are really focused in on material things, work, 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 that kind of thing, manifesting on that level. They're not feeling very supported, or like they're able to support us. We've got that set. What are they blocking and protecting? Show us that. Let's talk about that seven of wands. Block, protect. That one don't want to go of me. Princess of wands. Hmm. It's a page of wands. Vision of love. The adventure. Wishes. 
and they won't change. Very passionate, they won't change. Their wishes is for change to occur. Hmm, okay. The fact that we got that high priestess uh, thrown out there, that's, that makes things complicated because they're like, I'm not telling you. It's none of your business. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what that five of wands is right now. That chaos, that confusion. Sometimes, like I said, it's, it can come up when you feel like you're in competition with, you know, with someone or something. Tell me about the five of wands. Queen of Wands, a divine feminine. There's a leading influence. Went into private mode. Getting clarity. Healing. Oh, strength card. Leo energy. Huh. Virgos, are y'all the one that are in, in your Virgo, for real, Virgo hermit mode? Because it's just questioning on this. It would seem to be that um, you're the influence. And you went into private mode. You like let me get clarity. I need. I don't need distractions. Uh, our four of swords is rest, recuperation, recovery. But getting clarity, getting your thoughts in order, so you know what what you want to do next. And you're being very strong and courageous. Mm -hmm. Oh, brave, getting things to work for you. What else? Five of Wands. Princess of Cups, Page of Cups, feeling vulnerable in judgment. So we definitely got, we're, we're pulling away from someone and they're feeling the effects of it. We may be focusing in more on work. We may not have got recognition uh, that or some kind of attention, recognition, credit for something in this connection. Let's pull on that Three of Pentacles. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's see what they're going to say on the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, we went cold on them. A Libra, Queen of Swords. All in our head, not allowing our heart to have say in anything right now. Oh, my cup overfloweth with blessings. New love. New love. Tell us about that. Hmm, just this more Libra energy. Double Libra energy. Change. Scorpio transformation and walking away. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Give us more detail on the Ace of Cups. Fast. We're moving fast. Mm -hmm. Is it a new love? Do we have a new love? Hey, Scorpio King. King of Cups. Mm. We're walking away. Moving fast. Uh, Seven of Swords, y'all know that card is about thievery. You feel like something's being taken from you. Mm -hmm. But in the Cosmic Tarot, it has this walk, it's a walk away card. It's like, I'm oh, walking away from this. And we're walking fast towards someone else. New love, someone else. We went very cold, uh, balanced the fairness in bringing truth uh, into the situation. Mm, okay. So this person is definitely feeling there's competition. There's someone else. You're moving towards someone else. They're losing out completely. Let me shuffle the deck. Let's hold the energy on the deck for our Virgo's person. Mm. Let's get some messages here. What do they want to say on that uh, Hermit card? What are they going to say on the Hermit? Right here. I'm get a hold of it, y'all. I was too afraid to tell you how much I love you. Mm. Mm, that's getting recognition, getting something, the attention of something that you were really needing. And a lot of times uh, we do, when, when, especially in the connection, when it starts breaking, we're dissatisfying, we focus in on what work, work, <laughs> figuring things out on our own. Next one, I need a commitment. Got another one standing. I wish I could be honest with you. I need a commitment. I wish I could be honest with you. What else? When no one else will listen, I will. This is taking forever. Why am I hearing this as bantering? Ban what I mean by bantering is almost like your higher self. Your person is... is 
saying one thing and then they project what you're saying. I was too afraid to tell you how much I love you and uh, you'd be going, I need a commitment. Wish I could be honest with you. When no one else will listen, I will. That would be you. This is taking forever. <laughs> this is taking forever for us to get in sync with each other here. And to get over some fears and stuff like that. It's a wake up call for this person. Let's see what they're going to say on the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, that work card and getting. Thank you. Thank you. Give in. I would thank you very much if you would just give me a, don't walk away, don't walk away, what else, oh, right here, I don't care how foolish I look, I love you, got another one here, I'm scared of losing what we have together, let's see what they want to say on that competition card, mm -hmm. Ooh, right here, I'm going to get two, I know we have shared many past lives together. The timing is not right. Wait, 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 wait is what popped. What else? What else? Virgo's person, what else you want to say? Is there anything else? Right there. Please try to understand how I feel. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's go ahead and, and uh, rotate the decks so I'll know which one to pull from next. Which side to pull from. Let's go back to the tarot. Let's see what else they're going to bring out and talk about. It's my Virgo's person. Virgo's. Let's continue the conversation, please. Virgo's. Let me talk about now. Justice Libra, we're getting a lot of Justice Libra, truth, fairness, balance, and it's coming in under, again, under that Virgo Hermit. Next one, support, mm, four wands, celebration, honor, ceremony, respect for each other, but also family, tribe, it bring, it's bringing in family and tribe, what else? Mmm, four of cups. We're not we're not even considering it. this it's almost like this person wants to say, but what about all that we've got together? What about our friends? What about our family? What about what about what about everything in your and this this would be you in your Virgo hermit mode of eh, I don't what well, I'm not talking about it right now. <laughs> You'd be just like, no, I'm not talking about it right now. I'm not focusing in on that stuff right now. Let's see what else. What else? What else? Ah, Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Coming in under the competition card. Ten of Pentacles is about your legacy, what you manifested together. It's like I said, over here, it's like they're, they're bringing in not so much of what you have built together on a tangible level, but also family, friends, what will everybody say, that kind of thing. It's also, they want to protect that. They want to protect mm -hmm, that legacy with us. But they're thinking out to the future. They want that future with us. Mm -hmm, they don't want it to be over. Let's go ahead and pull uh, the Cosmic Terror. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's see what they're going to say. Because they keep popping out uh, on your Hermit Virgo card. Libra energy. So true. I'm getting to some truth here. Let's see what they're going to say on that. What are we going to say on that Libra card? That balancing the scales, justice, temperance, weight, weight. I'm hearing weight again. Weight, 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 weight. Don't make any rash decisions. Five of Pentacles. Your person's feeling uh, a lot of anxiety with this one. But when we pick up the fives, we feel defeated. Uh, we feel like there's competition. There's anxiety, disappointment. We feel like we're being left behind. Mm. No, 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 no. Hang on. Just because uh, I just popped back to truth. Truth. When I hit when I hit the word truth, it's like they're saying they held you back. Uh, they were a big burden on you, a ten of wands. What else? Oh, they held you back on your wishes to think what you truly wanted. They, they, it, it intimidated them and scared them for some reason. If you wanted more, 
more. It scared them. Mm. The Empress. You are their Empress. And you are definitely in. When we combine our Hermit with our Empress. That is sit down mode. I'm observing what you're doing. But we're not talking about it. Yeah, it's very, it's a very intimidating kind of energy that comes across because somebody is coming at us wanting to talk, tell me what I want to hear kind of thing. And you're just sitting back, relaxed, very calm while they're jumping circles around you. And you're like, just looking at them, observing them. And when we observe someone, when we come to complete here in the moment, looking at what you're doing, looking at what someone else is doing, that's very intimidating. It can be scary. Ooh, let's see what they're going to say on that four of wands and that four of cups. Four, four, fours. We've got fives and fours. Respect, honor, ceremony, privacy, though. Yes. Reevaluating things. And then we have jealousy and possessiveness that comes in that energy of four. Got queen of cups energy. Empath, cancer energy. Ah. Magician card. Ooh, hold on. Tell me about my magician card. Tell me more about that magician card. Right here, if I can get a hold of it. Oh, jealousy, possessiveness, don't want to let go, overwhelming. A king of wands, a Leo energy, putting on a big display and not getting a reaction from us. With that magician card, because they're saying you're the the queen of their heart, but they also are saying they know you're empath and, and they know you, they can sometimes pull emotional strings on you, which would be the manipulator of the magician card, the energy card. They uh, may have attempted to make you jealous because something's going on. They're very jealous because they got you moving towards someone else. Them, but they're trying to manipulate to hold on to you because they don't want to let go. They're trying to get you to feel overwhelmed to not make choices so quick. Putting on a big display of energy towards us because they're very uh, on fire not to not to lose us. So they're, they're going to come across any way possible with our King of Wands energy. He's very persistent, goes after what he wants, and won't stop until he gets what he wants. But he's not getting what he wants, is he? <laughs> no, he's not getting a reaction out of us. We're, we're sitting in that. It's, it's a turning point, totally emotionally dissatisfying, and we may be a little emotionally disconnected where they can't manipulate us uh, anymore. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what they want to say on that Ten of Pentacles, that protecting our legacy together. Oh, freedom and independence, nine. And, yeah, moving towards that. Yes, you are. And you're very protective of your energy right now. You're battle-weary. What else? What else? Because they're just telling me what's happening is, you know, basically we've lost the legacy together. And we're in, like, stuck mode. This person feels stuck. There's nothing they can do. They're in love and they're committed to us with that Gemini lover's energy. You're the main influence over the choices they are making and the behaviors they are displaying. And how they're coming across very, very... Um, Pushy and demanding with these two energies, uh, with our Leo and our Taurus energy. That's very, you know, it can become a very pushy kind of energy because it's persistence and stubbornness and dogged energy of focusing in on what they're wanting. It's just not happening for them though, because mm -mm, it's stuck. They can't, they can't get a response from me. They can't get a triggered uh, emotional reaction from you. And that's like uh, them saying, what? Well, I know your heart's not not there anymore. I know you don't care. What did I say about our five of wands up here, guys, when, when I pulled it? Sometimes you feel like nobody gives a shit what you think or feel. Ooh, hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what they're going to say. Mmm. Our guys, let's see what they're going to say on the justice right here. Let me get a hold of it, guys. I would turn my back on 
on any that would put you down. Ooh, they trying to tell you how much they love you. Mm -hmm. Let me pull these apart. We got two here. You can do no wrong in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Everything feels out of control. Yes, they they definitely feeling out of control because you're they're not getting the, the normal response they would get from you. The normal triggered emotional response. You just you ain't you ain't doing it. <laughs> You'd be like, uh -uh. keep on jumping around like a little chihuahua, make a more bigger fool of yourself. Just sit here and watch you. I believe in you. That's coming in on our uh, tribe. What we've built together, our legacy, what we have together. What's everybody going to say? I really want to make love to you. Mm -hmm. What else here? Hang on. Get my fingers on it. I can't wait to show you off. I'm ready to show you off now. I'm ready to give some of that recognition. <laughs> that attention that I wasn't given before. That got us to this point. I love and care for you more than you will ever know. Let's come over to our uh, Ten of Pentacles. See what they're going to say on that one. My heart is broken. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I believe them. But, we've got December, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Y'all know when we get the months, it should give you confirmation of something. If it doesn't keep an open mind, it may in, uh, in the future immediate future come to you I'm trying to look strong I promise there will be no lies and secrets again uh -oh. I promise there will be no lies and secrets again okay guys let's go ahead and push up I'm gonna ask your person to pick a deck to give you some final closing messages, y'all give me just a minute because we have four new decks. And when I have new decks and not read with them very much, it's hard to feel the energy on them. So, be patient with me while I feel for the energy. It's my Virgo's person. Final messages for my Virgo's. Which one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually going to get a new one, one of the new decks. I wasn't expecting that, y'all. Okay. This is uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Speak, Mirroring Dialogue. Mm -hmm. You can find these on Etsy. I'll make sure I put a link in the description box, or I'll try to remember to. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to say, this is the masculine side of the deck, but don't let the, the gender throw you. It's just the energy that's on it. Mm -hmm. What are we saying? Final messages. Final messages. Right here. I can't wait for you to get it. I have... To, I have to keep moving forward. If you don't come back, no, there will always be a special place in my heart for you and for what might have been. Oh, somebody trying to pull some strings on us. <laughs> so anything else of this deck? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, I'm getting some tingles behind me, guys. Hold on. We're going to have another deck, too. But we're getting one more out of this one right here. Let's forgive each other and move forward without regrets of the past holding us back from true love. Ooh. Hold the energy on the deck. Let me grab the one that they got the energy on behind me. It's also a new one. I'm... Yeah. Soulmates in separation. Unspoken love messages. Hmm. Let's get the energy on this for my Virgos. Final messages. Whatever you want to say with this deck. I think Pisces had this, got this deck also. Virgos person, whatever you want to say. Ooh, they can pop them off by this one. Sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. Uh-oh, that's that Three of Pentacles recognition. I'm feeling emotionally void without you. I fear 
that you will never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. I am lost in this world without you. It gets lonely. Got one more stand in here, guys. No, two more, sorry. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. Last one. And nobody is like you. You are exceptional. You are special. I'll never find anyone else like you. Oh my goodness, my Virgos. Okay, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.